Hello, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery, and today I'll be talking about citrus trees and some of the problems they face here in Maricopa County. The leaves are usually the first thing you notice when something is wrong, so let's take a look at some of the common problems. This is what nitrogen deficiency looks like, and we can fix this with correct fertilization. This is what zinc deficiency looks like, and again, we can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Herbicide damage sometimes looks like this, and it requires a little more work for us to correct. We usually start with a soil leach, and we also strengthen the tree's roots with a mycorrhizal root treatment. Be careful, fertilizing makes this problem worse. We often see leaves that look like this in a condition called citrus greening. The cause is a bacterium spread by aphids. The symptoms include fruit drop, twig dieback, and fruit that is lopsided, small and bitter tasting. Again, if you have this problem, give us a call. We can help. This is what sooty mold looks like. It's sooty and moldy looking and it develops on leaves or fruits that have been fouled by honeydew that was left by sap sucking insects. We can help, give us a call. Manganese deficiency is a common problem in which the leaves turn yellowish but larger veins remain slightly green. We can easily fix this condition with correct regular fertilization. Citrus gamosis is caused by two soil-borne organisms. The symptoms include cracks in the bark and a sappy honey-colored gumming. This is pretty easy to spot. If you see this on your trees, give us a call. We can help with this problem. One more thing before I go. A major cause of citrus tree death is the person with the weed eater. And once they cut completely through the bark of your citrus tree, it's dead. So please check on this regularly. Goodbye for now. I hope to hear from you soon. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Pat and I run Warner's Tree Surgery with my husband Warner. We have been treating sick trees for over 50 years in Maricopa County, Arizona, and we work within 30 miles of Mesa, Arizona. In this video, I'm going to talk about the diseases of citrus, and how Warner can help you with your citrus tree problems. Citrus trees are very popular and valuable in Arizona, as they provide delicious and nutritious fruits, such as oranges, lemons, grapefruits, and limes. However, citrus trees are also vulnerable to various diseases that can affect their health and productivity. Some of the common diseases that affect citrus trees are, citrus greening, also known as Huang Longbing or HLB, which is caused by a bacterium that is spread by the Asian citrus psyllid, a tiny insect that feeds on citrus leaves and shoots. This disease causes yellowing, mottling, and blotching of the leaves, as well as misshapen, bitter, and green fruits. There is no cure for this disease and infected trees eventually die. Citrus greening is the most serious threat to U.S. citrus production. Citrus canker, which is caused by a bacterium that infects the leaves, stems, and fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes raised, brown, corky lesions on the surface of the plant parts, which can reduce the quality and quantity of the fruits. Citrus canker can be spread by wind, rain, insects, and human activities. There is no cure for this disease, but it can be controlled by removing and destroying infected trees and applying copper-based fungicides. Citrus scab, which is caused by a fungus that infects the leaves, twigs, and fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes scabby, wart-like growths on the surface of the plant parts, which can affect the appearance and marketability of the fruits. Citrus scab can be spread by wind, rain, and pruning tools. It can be controlled by applying fungicides and practicing good sanitation. Citrus black spot, which is caused by a fungus that infects the fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes dark, circular spots on the rind of the fruits, which can crack and become sunken. Citrus black spot can affect the flavor and juice content of the fruits, as well as their shelf life and export potential. Citrus black spot can be spread by rain, wind, and infected plant material. 
It can be controlled by applying fungicides and removing fallen fruits. Root rot, which is caused by various fungi or water molds that infect the roots of citrus trees. This disease causes the roots to decay and rot, which reduces the uptake of water and nutrients by the tree. Root rot can cause wilting, yellowing, and dropping of leaves, as well as stunted growth and reduced fruit yield. Root rot can be favored by poor drainage, overwatering, or soil compaction. It can be prevented by improving soil aeration and drainage, and applying fungicides or biological agents. These are some of the diseases that can affect your citrus trees, and cause you to lose your precious fruits and trees. But don't worry, Warner is here to help you. Warner has a lot of experience and knowledge in treating sick trees, and he can diagnose and treat your citrus trees with the best medicines and methods available. He can also teach you how to care for your citrus trees in the long term, by making sure you know how to properly water, prune, fertilize, and protect them from pests and diseases. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you learned something new and useful today. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comments section below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye.